Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got three easy dinner recipes for you. They each only take one pan to cook. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get cooking. First, we have a gluten-free mushroom gnocchi. So you're gonna take a skillet and you're gonna place some avocado oil in there. When you place your gluten-free gnocchi in there, just make sure they're spaced apart. So you're gonna cook them on each side for three to five minutes, flip them over. We want them crispy on the outside and nice and cooked through on the inside. Then we're adding in three cups worth of mushrooms and a handful of washed cannellini beans. Then we're adding in one third of a cup of coconut milk. By the way, if you wanna follow a written version of these recipes, they're all on my blog, so I'll link them in the description box for you guys. Now I'm adding in a handful of dairy-free cheese. If you're not dairy-free in your diet, you can also use Parmesan. It'll probably be a better flavor match. Then I'm also adding in two handfuls of baby spinach and just stirring that through. And when I serve it, I like to serve it with some cold spinach on the top as well. This has been my favorite meal lately. I think I've eaten it like four times in the last three days or something silly like that. Now I've got a really simple spice quinoa and lime dish. So these have like Mexican style flavors. So I'm adding olive oil to a skillet and a brown onion. And then I'm also adding in two, three cloves of, cloves of garlic that I've chopped up and one chopped chili, just stirring them through until it's fragrant. And then I'm adding in one green capsicum. You're also gonna add in half a cup of quinoa. Make sure it's washed and it is different. We're not gonna boil it this time. We just want everything easy and in one pan. And I'm adding in one cup of vegetable stock. Feel free to use water instead if you like. Uh, just a little bit of Himalayan salt and then about a third of a cup of chili powder and cumin. Don't add as much if you don't want it spicy. Then I'm taking a couple of handfuls of frozen corn and one can of washed black beans. Then I'm also just gonna throw in some cherry tomatoes. Regular tomatoes are fine, but I just had cherry tomatoes on hand. Then you're gonna pop the lid over the top and you're gonna let that cook on its own for around 15 minutes. Then serve it and to serve it, because this made enough for two people, I'm having half an avocado each and then I'm juicing some lime over the top. Now we have like a chicken and green soup. I choose not to blend it up at the end, but you definitely can if you want a smoother texture. Super easy, grab a cooked chicken on your way home, pop that in the pan with four cups of vegetable stock or alternatively two cups veggie stock and two cups water. Then we're gonna chop up some broccoli florets, about three heads of those. And we're also gonna chop up four stalks of celery. Then add in as much ginger as you like, peel the skin back a little bit and just grate that in. So as you can see, I tried to keep these recipes pretty simple. They don't need too much to cook with. Uh, one to two teaspoons of turmeric and a little bit of apple cider vinegar as well. And we're just gonna stir that through. And then I decided to also add in two tablespoons of split peas and then you're just gonna let it sit and simmer on its own for around an hour. So again, if you want a smoother texture than that, then just pop it in the blender and whiz it up. If not, you can just have it like this, which is how I prefer to have my soups anyway. And that's my three dishes for you. So don't forget to check my blog if you want the written versions and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.